Have you ever felt alone in what you're trying to accomplish? I remember I found myself in the dark, 6 a.m., very early, skateboarding, thinking, what in the world am I doing? I'm in my 40s, I'm outside skateboarding, uh, when people are either in bed or doing other things in the morning. And I just felt so alone. I felt so, what am I doing? And I realized that the reason that I was doing that is because I set goals for myself. We're gonna talk about that today. First off, I just wanna ask you, is your culture broken? Is your culture broken? Then let's fix it together using your creative power. Visit adamleerosenfeld.com and make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of my podcasts, posts, or webinars. I'm here to help you get unstuck to use the creative power you have to make a change in the culture that you find yourself in. All right, so if you feel you're alone, that's probably a good indicator that you're doing something right. If you feel that you're doing something and no one gets you, no one understands who you are, what, what's wrong with you, what's your deal, that usually can be an indicator that you're actually in the right place with a big if, if you're aligned with truth. So we're gonna talk about that. I uh, have this picture in my mind, it's such a vivid picture in my mind, that really helped me understand what it's like uh, to feel alone and doing something that's unique. And uh, there's a movie, I am not recommending this movie, uh, you know, for content reasons or whatever, but uh, if you're familiar with the movie, Apocalypse Now, uh, you know, this, this uh, depiction of the Vietnam War, there's a very famous scene where Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore sends his troops out to battle but this uh, grizzled military leader has within the soldiers under his command um, some pro surfers. So what he does is he goes out to battle, but he takes his pro surfers aside. He says, listen, the place we're going to battle has excellent waves for surfing. So, you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna fight, uh, but you go surfing. And in that same tone of voice of a military, that gruff tone of voice of a military commander, he commands his soldiers to go to war, to go to battle. And in that same voice, he commands the pro surfers to go surfing. And so you get this strange image of uh, these guys surfing during a war. There's things blowing up around them. There's napalm. It's, it's quite, uh, you know, uh, a harsh picture. But uh, that image came to mind when I was skateboarding at six in the morning, trying to get something done, trying to achieve a goal. Uh, it was dark, I was alone, I could hardly see what I was doing. I felt that, uh, you know, I was at such a low level. And I was thinking, you know, is this even worth it? And then I realized that uh, if you feel like you're those surfers in Apocalypse Now, like, 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 what in the world am I trying to do? I'm surfing during a war. You might be on the right track. And uh, I'll tell you more about that. But I also was brought to thinking about the prophets in the Bible. And they were called to do some bizarre things. As you remember, you know, if you, if you know from... I mean, the call in Isaiah 20 for uh, Isaiah to walk naked and barefoot, I, I am not pointing at anything obscene here. I don't know what the circumstances exactly were, but that was the thing. He was, he was walking naked and barefoot. He was specifically different from others. Others were not, as a whole, as a majority, walking naked and barefoot, but our, Isaiah was naked and barefoot. Or in Ezekiel 4, Ezekiel was lying on his side for longer than a year. And uh, what a strange picture. And it makes you think, what was the strangest thing? Ask yourself, what was the strangest thing that you have felt called to do? What have you been called to do? And I felt that skateboarding at 6 a.m., 6 a.m., it's definitely nowhere on the level of the prophets, but skateboarding at 6 a.m. felt strange to me. And I felt, what in the world am I trying to do? And I'll tell you in a moment uh, how that helped me out. But I want to ask you, 
how do you know you're feeling alone you're trying to make something happen how do you know if you're on the right track i want to be clear that many have been on the wrong side of this many people have felt like i alone know what needs to be done and they went out and did things and things that weren't the right thing to do they were alone and they were wrong so how can you be alone that you're feeling alone but also feel affirmed that you're on the right track and the only way that I can, the only thing that I can think of and, and, and what helps me in life is to have a rhythm of reflection, a rhythm that allows you to look at your life and look at the things that you want to achieve in life. And I find this intertwined in my relationship with God. I am able to petition a God, the Lord, the person in control. I'm able to petition him uh, with my desires and my goals. And it makes you think of something that uh, the psychologist Jordan Peterson said. He said, align yourself with the heavens and then begin your day. So if I have a goal that involves skateboarding at 6 a.m., it was born out of a place of me reflecting, spending time with God, out of a rhythm of spending time with God, out of a rhythm of reflecting on my life, out of a rhythm of aligning myself with the heavens. So you may have goals. They may be physical goals, they may be spiritual goals, they may be business goals, family goals. My skateboarding goal <clears throat> began as a physical goal. I wanted to develop my body through uh, the pursuit of skateboarding and it morphed into a social goal. I realized that if I'm going to be alone doing this, I'm going to be miserable. And so what it led me to build social relationships in the skateboarding world that have really been a benefit to me. So my goal actually changed on the way. It began as a physical goal and it changed into a social goal. And I was able to understand that through my times of reflection, reflecting on my life and bringing my life before God. But if you're pursuing a goal and you feel alone, you might just be in the absolute right place for you. That could be a good indicator that you're in the right place. So I just wanna remind you, if you feel like your culture is broken, I'm here for you. I wanna talk with you about unleashing your creative power on this world and helping you get unstuck. Visit adamleerosenfeld.com and make sure you subscribe with your email address so you never miss any podcast or post or webinar or any way that I'm here to help you. Thanks, have a great day.